It's been branded the EGAD Plus process. Regional body EGAD has been trying to make peace for almost the entire duration of the 20-month conflict. Now, countries including China, the U.S., South Africa, Nigeria and Rwanda are getting involved. China has already played a pivotal role in pushing for a deal. Its ambassador to Ethiopia, La Yifan, says these letters stocks should seek a peace that is caught fair, sustainable and durable. On the first day, both sides were sending the right message. In spite of the largely negative reaction to Igat's compromise agreement on resolution of the South Sudan conflict, the government of the Republic of South Sudan wants to stress once more its steadfast commitment to a peacefully negotiated end to our country's crisis through the Igat Plus mediation. My delegation and I have come to Addis Ababa after a comprehensive deliberation in Pagak with full mandate to bring peace to the people of South Sudan. A peace that is just and sustainable. This latest round of mediation is due to run for 11 days and includes the involvement of regional heads of state and face-to-face -face talks between President Salva Kiir and opposition leader Riek Mashar. Igad says the two sides have until 17 August to sign. Otherwise, it's threatening punitive measures, among them sanctions and the prospect of military intervention. The parties negotiating here time and again have been told that this round of talks will be their last chance to agree or face consequences. Now that the plus process is appearing to be determined and robust, perhaps a practicable deal could be reached this time around. Grumtala, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.